perspective that you're playing the way you play, you're working with distance, you probably don't want the person getting close to your head uh, for the most part. You know, some people are really good on playing guard uh, or playing half guard under pressure, you know, but for the most part, if you're trying to play, stick to the same game with distance, with control, with switching angles, the, the half guard getting your head stuck is probably not the place you want to be in. Okay, so that's going to be uh, one thing that we're going to be fighting against uh, as far as guard retention. So you're going to try to retain your guard to avoid uh, that to happen. And we saw that yesterday. We saw that yesterday when I was telling you guys to go for that for that pass. If you're on the seminar yesterday, we did a, a push here, a step over, and then a back step to get to this. And then the important thing of this move here was that the knee shoe was not, was not in place. So I was telling you guys a lot to stay low and avoid that knee shoe, right? So this is what we're gonna try to uh, do on the other end now. So uh, so exactly what we were asking when we were like playing the De La Hiva, right? So if I'm playing the De La Hiva, so if I'm playing the De La Hiva here and uh, he pushes my hook out, trying to switch to this, it's not working, he actually got to the point where he's, uh, uh, he was setting over, right? Now he is dropping to the knee slide. So what uh, am I looking for here? Very strongly, at this point, I'm not attacking anymore, okay? I'm already on the, this is already a red flag, so as soon as he pushes this down, I should be aware, okay, now, it's not about attacking anymore, I need to take a second and regroup. So I'm going to hold the collar, and then as Professor Tavi drops to the knee slice, now I have this knee in place. So that's very important, okay, having that knee here. And what do I uh, look for uh, as far as guard rotation here? Some like basic stuff, but really, really helps. Like in order for him to get me stuck, he needs to like hold my collar to avoid my move. Okay, so I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to have this reach. This is probably the most important reach for your guard retention, like when you when you have this movement, because this means he's close to my head, right? If I'm like, if I have this bridge, like I, he's not so close anymore, and then and, and this is one of the important things, okay? So we're just gonna practice the guard retention of getting like this knee in when they drop, and like uh, having this bridge, and let's say that he does have the bridge, so both, okay? First with the bridge, and also when he does have the reach, and he starts to like smash on the knee slice or wherever the case may be, I need space, I need to pray. I need to keep his head away from my head. The way I do that, instead of holding the collar now, if I get to this point, I'm like, okay, a second red flag, he's getting closer and closer. What I need the most is distance. So the way I'm gonna pray with a very annoying grip is the thumb down punch grip, okay? So that's a very, it's probably the one I use the most uh, to keep my guard uh, uh, retained is the thumb down punch grip. Because that means with an issue and a thumb down punch grip, even if it goes through a deep knee slice, like I, I can keep his head away. I'm not even doing much with my legs, but I can frame the recover, regain space. So like play with this a little bit before we go to the attacks again, because the rich one and the frame on the head, thumb down punch grip two, probably the two most uh, important guard rotation details you're gonna need not only for the knee slice but situations uh, where you like you're really under pressure okay so go from here he put uh, he breaks my grip pushes my hook steps over now first red flag right I'm already here so I'm gonna start already switching to this right I have this I'm good right? and then he pulls my collar down Okay, second red flag, yeah, he's close, even close to my head. Then at this point, that's when uh, that's when the, the, the thumb down puncher comes in handy. Because I'm gonna be able to, if he's uh, keeping me stuck, I'm gonna be able to, what, frame him away. And then that free hand again comes in handy. Because I can retain my guard, get back to square one. I was, I was two steps ahead. At the end, I was two steps ahead. Now we're even again. Okay, so it's a lot like a, a chess game, right? You're like they check you once, they check you twice. Okay, let's regroup. Like if you, if you get the guy was two steps ahead. He was two steps ahead. Like if I was playing De La Riva, he stepped over, dropped one step ahead now, 
he pulled my collar close to my head, that's two steps ahead. So like, you got checked twice. So you just gotta regroup uh, and get back to uh, square one. Okay, so let's just do that for a little bit. So we'll hear 